I think I can just say these are everyday people, you know, which I'm not very close to them, but it's, uh, it's characters which I see in the streets, you know, of, of, of Johannesburg, you know, either Berlin, West Africa, you know, anywhere in the world. This work comes from billboards, you know, those big billboards for advertisement. I'm kind of uh, uh, deconstructing this, this billboards and, and construct, you know, and give, give it a new meaning because it is the material which, which people identify themselves which, which is born, the material is born out of this culture of consumption and selling products. And then that's where these characters, I come across these characters. M music plays this uh, integral part in our lives. You know, music, it, it really brings happiness when there's this kind of sadness. It will fill the space when the space is empty. I started picking up old radios, you know, fascinated by them, you know, but I didn't know what I was gonna do with, 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 with these old, old radios, you know. My first radio, I put it in my storeroom. I came across other radios, I bought them, I put them in my storeroom. Same applies to this vintage uh, music covers. It took me something like three to four years, you know, those things lying around, not knowing what to do with them, you know. And suddenly, it came. This, these, are, these are past dreams, you know. These are, are dreams which uh, people in the past, people before me, you know, which kind of, which bring so much joy in their lives. You know, the records, you know, if you look at those covers, you know, they tell so much stories, you know, and there are, there are beautiful, sweet memories in these in the, in this records. I guide these memories, I keep them, because they are very sweet, beautiful memories. Even if I'm not related to these people, but I can relate to the music, you know, and the beauty of music and the beauty of sound. You know, so I am a keeper of those sweet memories. And I'm sharing this with you people now. There are so many stories about classes, you know, how these classes are used or we depend on them to really see the world very clearly because without them we cannot. It's past memories of uh, short-sightedness and long-sightedness, you know. If you look, also look at the history of, of, of classes and, and some brutality that happened in the world, which was also perpetrated by people who were wearing glasses like dictators. And those glasses, they tell so much story. And the stories these glasses tell, you could also see people when they see these glasses, they always start to discuss. You know, they'll tell you stories about classes. They'll talk about the elders, you know, my mom, my granddad, you know, my great-grand-granddad used to wear this kind of classes, you know, and we laugh, and, 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 and they'll laugh about it. I think our lives are always overflowing. It has to do with our lives, you know, because there's so much in our lives. You know, at times you can contain it, at times you cannot. And then comes a time when it overflows, when it becomes out of control. These are the people, the dispossessed people, you know, the displaced people, the past dreams, you know, living in this beautiful paradise, massive space, run, running around naked. But it's the paradise that got destroyed, you know. And when that paradise got dis destroyed and people were kind of displaced, we see so much, you know, the, the eye in the hand. As I said, I never planned it. You know, this eye was lying in my studio. 
you know, and one day I just took it and I put it there and I glued it there. And you can see that uh, it's a living eye, it's, it's, an, it's an eye that kind of looks, but, but if you look at these figures, the eyes are not there. But you can feel, you know, that they, they, they are looking at something, they are having a discourse, they are whatever is happening there, but there is that eye which is always looking. That might also symbolize that we are looking we are powerless. There's nothing we can do. People pray with the hope that they'll get their land back. But people are still praying. And they die without their prayers being answered. But people are still praying. But the eye is still there.